In this video, I'm going to show you how to make ID photos with iPhoto Draw. Let's just create a new image. You need to specify the size for this new image. You can just enter the size directly in this text box, or if you need more detail control, just click this advanced button. It will bring up this advanced setting dialog. And you can pick a predefined size from this combo box. From the list, you'll find 4R, 5R, 6R. These are the most common photo size. In this case, I use 4R. And you can also specify the DPI. DPI is dots per inch. It's a measurement of pixel density. For most of the photo printers, 300 is the highest level they support. It's going to give you a very good quality for the printout. So I pick 300 now. And you can also specify the orientation of the photo. Let's use landscape. And when you click OK, it will translate your settings to the pixels. So now this image is 1,800 pixels wide and 1,200 pixels high. And you can also specify the background color. Let's just use Y. And create a new rectangle on this image. In this demo, I'm going to use a photo for Chinese visa as an example. And this is the official requirement for this photo. It specifies the size for this photo. And you also mentioned the size for the face for the person on the on the photo. So let's set the size for this rectangle. Choose the unit. So it's going to be 43 millimeter and 48 millimeters high. Usually, I will increase the size a little bit. The purpose is to give me some buffer when I finally cut the photo. And change the color for the border. And this is the photo I will use for the ID photo. So let's drag this image file to the rectangle and fill the color shape. Press the space key on the keyboard and drag the mouse. So this will drag the image inside this rectangle. And continue to press the space key and scroll the mouse wheel. This will zoom in the image. Let's just measure the size of the face. So it's two centimeter, so that's a twenty millimeter. And the height of the face is three point two centimeter. So basically that's a forty two millimeter. So it meets the requirement.
press Ctrl C, Ctrl V to make a bunch of copy. And select all of them. Now I can export this image. Usually I will use a JPEG as the format because JPEG is universal and every photo center support this format. So let's say you have a lot of uh, ID photos to make. In this case, you can save this image and use it as a template uh, in the future. Let me show you how. So I just uh, remove this photo and you can save this one. And select off the objects. and drag another photo into this image. And export this image. So let's see, I just create two ID photos. This is the first and second. So the final step is to bring these two JPEG files to the photo center and print them out. Thank you for watching this video.